new, and as you can see, everyone's training on how to get those dishes pumped out. Everything looks great. That salmon poke bowl was phenomenal. Speaking of which, we're here with Scott Ronskowski, the executive chef for SeaWorld San Antonio, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what inspirations that uh, came about for making these wonderful dishes. Well, it's kind of interesting because I actually have family that lived in Hawaii, so I Unbeknownst to most, I have a couple Japanese ants that uh, I'm pretty proud to have because they lived in Hawaii and they lived there their whole life. So kind of my grandfather was there, not getting to see them all the time. There's a little inspirational behind the Hawaii here because I had family that was there and they lived there for several years. So with Hawaii here, I wanted to take some new flair to some old flair by putting Huli Huli chicken. You go to Hawaii, you got to have Huli Huli chicken. Mm -hmm. It literally means turn, turn in Hawaiian. Okay. So we marinate that for at least 24 hours, and then we put it on our grill. We're gonna grill it. We're gonna do the huli and the huli, but we serve that over something neat, which is spam fried rice. Oh, nice! So something new. Mm. Not a lot of people are doing the spam fried rice. So in addition to the spam fried rice, we put on spam fries. You go to Hawaii, you gotta have spam fries. Ooh. The Hawaiians like their their flavors to be a little bit bold and very simple. Actually, a lot of mayonnaise in, in there. Ketchup, paprika, and we added some red uh, chili to it, some major red chili. Mm. So we kind of plus that up. We got the, the salmon poke bowl, we got the tuna poke bowl, we've got the Hawaiian sticky ribs, which are delicious. Mm. They were good. Yeah, the Hawaiian sticky ribs, they, they, it's, it's a great product. We make it in house here, so we're actually braising those ribs. We're going to glaze those ribs. We're going to take a little bit of time and love it. probably takes about an hour and a half to make the final product. Wow. So when we got that going on, there's also a couple sorbets that are here that I have made special for us. We chose a coconut sorbet. It has little flakes mm. of coconut inside there. We have our uh, pineapple, because everybody in Hawaii, you got to have oh, your pineapple. Yes. So when, when you're having that, there, there's a little hidden menu that you can have made, because I'm going to give you two little one-ounce portions. It sounds little, but they're, it's a lot. Mm. If you have the coconut, or you can have the pineapple, but you can put them together and have a pina colada. I'll give you one of each. So you can nice. Them, you know, not on the menu, but you, you hear and hear first. Perfect. So you, you can ask for that. So it's just a lot of a lot of looking at what Hawaiians like to eat. There's there's Hawaiian food here in town, but I don't think that they're going to execute it to the level that we're putting it out. So we've, we've got a great product. Awesome. I really appreciate that, Scott. Thank you for your time. No Thank you, sir. Thanks, have a great day.